Midnight Special is a song about a train, and try to imagine, like, your bow is a train, and you literally do not want to leave the tracks of the safe area. In this course, we'll be focusing on string crossings, left hand technique, and right arm bowing technique. That was Midnight Special Level 1. Midnight Special is a country blues of unknown origin. It's a prison anthem, and it's about a train that ran right by a jailhouse. And there was a legend, and a train would go by the jailhouse. And if the light from the train shone on you, the legend had it that you would be set free. Blues musician Lead Belly helped popularize the song with his version, and it was also covered by Paul McCartney, and most famously, classic rockers and tongue twister, Credence Clearwater Revival. Say that five times fast. All of these cover versions really speak to the song's timeless melody and feel. You can almost feel the train chugging along as the song's going. So apparently, Lead Belly sang the song about getting out of prison, and he sang it so well that he literally got out of prison. In this song, there is a ton of string crossing between the A and the E string. Let's try practicing going back and forth between A and E first. Be aware of the height of your elbow as you make this crossing. Notice how when you're on the E string, it drops a little bit. And when you're coming back to the A, it needs to come back up again. Make sure you have a lot of control in your right hand and your right arm. We don't want the bow flying all over the place. Here's an example of that. Midnight Special is a song about a train, and try to imagine like your bow is a train, and you literally do not want to leave the tracks of the safe area. Make sure that you're not pulling your arm back. None of this wing leg motion. The upper part of your arm is still, and you're just extending from your elbow. You might wanna try practicing this with the upper part of your arm against a wall so you literally can't move it back this way. When you're playing this, you can really focus a lot on your left hand technique. Notice how relaxed my wrist is. It's not squeezing the neck of the violin or contorting in any sort of weird way. Just hanging down and it's almost floating on top of it. If you squeeze, you might get some funky notes. And then when you're playing the first finger on the A string, you're gonna to wanna to keep a tunnel through to the E string cause then you can hold it down. I'm imagining like the E string itself is the road and that a train or a car needs to get through. But if the one finger is touching the E string and cause your tunnel has collapsed, that's when you're gonna get some screechy notes. So be aware of that relaxed left hand, no squeezing with the wrist, and then try to keep that first finger placement as rounded as possible. <laughs> 